Hey, Dr. John here. I got a problem from a student that I thought was uh, worth sharing. Um, it's good for math review. It also is a typical problem where you can take a, something that's relatively easy to get an answer to and uh, just by misreading the way it's worded, uh, you can turn it into a wrong answer. So let's take a look at um, the period of a pendulum problem and do a little math review. Uh, so the problem is the period T of a pendulum is given by the following formula where L is the length and G is the free fall acceleration near the surface of the earth. They say near the surface of the earth because what that means is that essentially G is constant. Uh, the acceleration can change uh, if we're at a great distance above the earth for example but essentially on the surface it's the constant. In order to increase the period of a pendulum by 42 percent the length must A be decreased by 51 percent, B decreased by 20 percent, C increased by 42 percent, or D increased by 102 percent. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you the answer now and uh, and then we'll understand the rationale behind it. So the answer is D. We have to increase it by 102 percent. So let's see why that is mathematically. First thing I want you to notice is just in the equation for a period of a pendulum that everything's constant except for the length. So uh, uh, the period is essentially a function of length and that's it at least on the surface of the earth where G is constant. So now let's do a little math review. Let's look at the way we would write uh, the wording decreased by 51 percent etc as it would affect L. So decreased by 51 percent actually what you would do is multiply L by 0.49 because 49 percent of L would be left so that would be the decrease of 51 percent. Decreased by 20 percent you would write 0.8 times L for a 20 percent decrease. An increase of 42 percent would be 1.42 times L and then an increase by 102 percent would be 2.02. .02. So in, this is the thing that can easily be confusing when you're quickly working through these problems is that 1 times L would be just 100 percent of L. So to have a percent increase of 102 percent you're going to add 1.02 to the factor of 1 which is 2.02. .02. Now also they told us in the problem that there was a 42 percent increase in the period so we would write that as 1.42 times T. Now before we get into the problem, let's just do a little review of radicals op and operations uh, with them because uh, that, that's important to understand the way the mathematics of this problem goes. On the left, let's just look at something that we're going to need to understand for this problem and that is, is if we want to get a, a number, a factor um, under the uh, radical sign for L because it's going to be increased or decreased by some factor. What we'd like to know is how can we change a number like 5 or 67 or 1.42, um, which is the number that we're interested in, um, how can we change the format of that so that we can multiply it and get it into the radical sign. So what we do is we would square all these numbers and then put the radical sign over them and that would essentially be equivalent to the numbers on the left. So we just change uh, the format of the number, haven't changed the value of it. So that's one concept that we need to know for this problem. The other is, is that when we work with radicals, you can multiply two radicals as long as their index is the same. In this square root problem, the index is 2, so we can multiply radical 2 times radical 3, for radical 6. We cannot add radical 2 and radical 3. If we had radical 2 plus radical 2, we could say that's 2 times radical 2. That's 2 radical 2's in other words, but we can't add or subtract radicals um, in, that, in that form. So multiplication we can do. Um, 
down here dropping down to the right. Division we can also do. So if you see a problem where you have radical 6 and the fractions inside, you can uh, you can divide the, ra the fraction within the radical sign or you could break it apart. Or if you see a problem where you've got two radicals over each other and they're apart but they have the same index, again, just like you can multiply them, you can divide the uh, 6 divided by 2. Okay, so that's pretty much the math review here. Now, in this situation, uh, I just want to, in this slide, I want to show you that we can break things apart in the formula for the period of a pendulum if, if it makes it easier for us to see. So if we wanted to, again, we could break this fraction within the radical uh, apart. And then if you look up here to the right, once it's broken apart, knowing that we can multiply two radicals as long as their index is the same, we can see that if we can find the factor that we want to multiply times L to give us a 1.42 increase in our pendulum in T, then we're, we're home free. We got our answer. So that's really what we're going to do. Now, what I want to do is show you the rigorous math approach to this. Um, on the test you would take a, a quicker approach, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at the more rigorous mathematics of it, just for a good math review. Um, but essentially what we're doing is, is we've got this set up. We've got, in our problem we were told that the pendulum increases in its period by, one, by 42 percent. So we know on the left it's 1.4 T. And on the right, they've already told us that we're going to augment the length. So we're going to multiply L times some number that has to be um, inserted in here um, so that we can uh, get 1.42 on both sides of the equation. So essentially what we need is to find the number that is the square of 1.42 and that we can somehow mathematically get it into the radical sign. So let's look at the mathematics of that. Okay, so what we have is an equation and we know that on one side it was increased by 1.42 and so that means that we have to increase this pendulum formula which is intact on the right in blue by 1.42 also. So what we want to do is the answer is how much is the length increased so we'll put the 1.42 in a format that has the radical sign in it so that we can multiply it into the radical sign so what we do is as, as we had just reviewed previously is we change 1.42 which is our factor on both sides of the equation um, into a radical uh, that has the 1.42 square we haven't changed the value of 1.42 and then what we do is just if you want to put it on the right and see that it would multiply into the numerator of that radical L over G and so what we now have is the length is multiplied by 1.42 squared and then what we do is just get the absolute the the uh, the number squared which is 1.42 squared is equal to 2.016 which is 2.02 .02, which is D our answer which was an increase of 102 percent. Remember 1 times L would be 100 percent and 1.02 added to, to that factor of 1 is 2.02. .02. So that's how we got the answer of an increase of uh, 102 percent of the length of L to get our 42 percent increase in the pendulum. Period. So on the test, again, what I would do is I'm, I know that I've got 1.42 on the left. I've got to find a number to put in here on the, on the right next to L that would be uh, a, essentially 1.42 times the right side of the equation. So if I need to find out what that number is, I know that it has to be in radicalized form which is going to be 2.02 uh, .02 over here. But how did I derive that? Well, just 
take 1.42 is equal to the square root of what to get the answer of what um, we square both sides to get rid of the radical sign and then we just find out that 1.42 squared is 2.02 .02. so again it's it's a little tricky because the answer is 102 percent but realize that that's a, a 102 percent increase so that the number that we have to put in here as a factor is 2.02 .02 to get the right answer and so when we just summarize take a look at what what happened here is we put a a 2 in as a factor of L and then if you want to see it as broken apart into discrete uh, numbers uh, that made up this radical sign at the top we've got L is multiplied by radical 2 but we know that the square root of 2 is 1.4 which is the factor that we're looking for on both sides of the equation 1.42 on the left multiplied by t and 1.4 multiplied by the period of a pendulum formula and that is it I hope this helped you take care